hi everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial today's topic is how to use the index and the match function in excel index and match function is a powerful lookup function that can be used as an alternative to vlookup and hlookup because index and match is more effective than vlookup or hlookup and in microsoft excel the index function and the match function are two separate functions but when we combine these two into one single formula it becomes a powerful two dimensional lookup function so first of all it is better to understand the index and math separately so here i am going to show you how we can use the index function press equal to then type index here it says index function returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection point of particular row and column in a given range so the use of the index function is to display the value at the intersection point of the row and column that you provide here i am opening bracket and in the area of the index i will select this quantity sold range from here then give a comma here you need to provide the row number and suppose that here i will provide row number 2 comma in the column number i will provide column number 4 in this case the result i will get is 30 and the result i got from this cell because here in the formula i provided 2 as a row number 4 as a column number and if you see in this quantity sold range this is the second row and this is the fourth column and from the intersection point of second row and fourth column this 30 is captured by the formula so the result we got is 30 here if i change to this row number is 5 in this case i will get the result of 59 this result i got from this cell because this is the fifth row and this is the fourth column from the intersection point of fifth row and fourth column i got the result 59 so this is the individual use of index function now let's learn what is the use of match function here equal to then type match when you type match here you see the description of the match function match function returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value so the use of the match function is to display the position of the value the position is the row position or column position or let's say row number or column number when you looked into the index function there you need to provide row number and column number the same will be given by the match function so the use of match function is to automate the row number and column number required for looking up the value here let's use the match function individually press equal to match bracket open in the lookup value i am selecting the mango from here then give a comma lookup array means i want to look this mango here in this item range so i will select this item name range give a comma in the match type select exact match by double clicking close bracket press enter now i got the result as 4 because the mango is given on the fourth row of this selection so the match function displayed the row position of the value that you are trying to search similarly to display the column position equal to match here in the lookup value i will select quest comma in the lookup array select the region range comma double click on the exact match type close bracket press enter and here i got the column position of quest is 2 so the match function displayed the row position and column position and the index function will get the result from the intersection point so here in this table 2 we can combine the index and match to get the value from the intersection point of the region that is given here and from the item that is given here so now let's combine the index and match together here press is equal to then type the index function bracket open in the array select the quantity sold range of the source table now 
lock this range because when we copy the formula later this range should remain constant so press the F4 key in the keyboard to lock this range then give a comma in the row number let's combine the match function to get the row number dynamically for the items given here so here the formula will be match open bracket in the lookup value click on the item name then here we have to lock the column here because when this formula goes to right the column should remain constant so to keep the column constant press the F4 key three times in the keyboard that will apply the dollar symbol before column G now give a comma in the lookup array select the item name range of the source table this way then lock this range by pressing F4 key one time comma in the match type double click on exact match close bracket now this match function will give the row number dynamically then give a comma and in the column number again type the match function bracket open in the lookup value click on the region name of the table 2 then here we have to lock the row number 5 because when we copy this formula down this row should remain constant so to lock the row only press the F4 key two times then give a comma in the lookup area select the region name range of the source table then press F4 key one time to lock the whole range comma then double click on the exact match close bracket then close one more bracket for the index function now press enter and here you see the result is given from the intersection point of north and orange if you see here at the intersection point of north orange the value is 30 and here also the value of 30 is calculated now click on the cell go here in the fill handle drag it down again go to the fill handle click on it and then drag it to the right and here you see all the results are now calculated by combining the index and match function so this function is effective and easy to use then VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP because here we don't need to provide the column index number manually for every single column. Only one formula can be copied for rest of the cells. So this is the way of using index and match function in Excel is an alternative to VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. If you want to download the practice workbook file used here. You can go below in the video description and download. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will again meet in next video tutorial.